Okay, people, this is Bill again. And today we're going to be making chicken pot pie from scratch. Everything from scratch, chicken pot pie. You'll be amazed at how easy, how fast, how inexpensive this is. So, we're going to get started. So, I have my pan heated and I'm putting roughly two tablespoons of corn oil like corn oil and we're gonna let that get hot when that gets hot this pie I say it about a lot of things but <laughs> This pie is really yummy. You know what? I think we make yummy things here. Which is why we like you to have them. Okay, so. This is one medium onion chopped. Red onion. Into the pan. Sizzle up. And right away to that, this is... Two, this is three pieces small diced potato and it cuts pretty small so we're going to throw this in here because that's the thing that takes the longest to cook so we're going to saute this and uh, this pie is a couple of stages because we we have to uh, prepare the inside, and then we're going to prepare the dough. We're going to make the dough. We're going to make the dough, and uh, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be lovely. It's going to be flaky, flaky. It's going to be uh, crusty, but also soft. It's just a great all-around all-purpose crust and you know what almost the same crust for like apple pie and uh, things like that but here this one is chicken pie pie we make several pies um, you want to add a spot more oil Just a dab. We don't want it greasy. We don't want it oily, but we don't want it to stink either. Okay, so. You know these dishes are very good. Um, it's like a staple dish where I come from, you know, and it seems like a lot of work when you say, oh, I made chicken pot pie from scratch. And, you know, people that don't know, they say, what? Are you kidding me? Even uh, the crust. You make the crust? Yeah. Now, I'm going to put now the chicken. Now this chicken is all seasoned already. It was marinated. It's uh, it's got all the spices and all the seasonings in it. So in the description section, as always, I'm going to list all the ingredients that are in this chicken. Uh, and you know this is to make it easier for you also you add it to the chicken the chicken marinates and you got two in one so when you throw this in the frying pan that's all you got to do is throw it in the frying pan and that's what we're going to do now so we're going to throw this in the frying pan
we're gonna let this we're gonna let this uh, cook up. This is chicken. This is uh, chicken breast, boneless chicken breast. I use that a lot. You know, I do like uh, boneless chicken thighs also because the meat. Uh, you know, the meat is a little more flavor. But when you do this this way. And you're adding a lot of flavor anyhow, so you know, you're going to have flavor. The flavor is definitely going to be there. But when you do dishes that are mild seasons and spices and not a whole lot extra, then, you know, you want that, that darker meat. Like, uh, well, for me, if you get boneless, skinless thighs, that does it all, you know, that's a, uh, lots of flavor, cooks fast, it cooks easy, and, uh, you know, it saves time, and that's what we're looking to do, we're looking to save time, we're looking to save money, we're looking to eat well, we're looking to feed our family, uh, within our budget, even when our budget's low. When our budget's low, I mean, really, it doesn't mean that we can't eat. It doesn't mean that we shouldn't eat. You know, it means a lot of times that we can't always eat what we want. Unless we know that we can have something within our budget that'll fill us up, that we'll enjoy, and uh, these are those types of food that I, I, I try to aim to, to bring to you. So that's, uh, that's my mission. You know, I told you, that's what I like to do. So this is uh, one of those things. You know, I will make a gravy after. Once you serve this on your plate, you put some gravy over the top or on the side, and uh, you have a feast. Well, there's little potatoes in here, yes, but doesn't mean you can't have your rice, because I know you always need your rice. You always need your rice. So, can't be without your rice? Of course not. Why should you be without your rice? So if you think when you're doing this too, if you think that your chicken pieces are too big, before you throw it into your pie crust, you can you can chop them down. You can chop them down. Now right now what I'm going to do is add a little bit of chicken broth. This is chicken broth that. I make from uh, a kind of a dry powder of chicken broth mix, as you can see. And it's the same as the cube, but, but I kind of like the control because you can taste this before you use it. You know, you mix it up. See, now I put the broth in there so it loosens all the brown at the bottom of this pan, which is all flavor. So that's going to go back into the meat, and ultimately it's going to end up inside our pie. Now, you see, my chunks of meat are a little large for the pie. So I will be. I will be cutting them down. Um, you know, bite size is. I guess I got a big bite. <laughs> I got a big bite, so. But, you know, it's also easier to control if you have smaller pieces um, when you assemble. So, you'll see when. You make the pie crust, 
and you're gonna see how easy that is. And you know, in the beginning, I was always intimidated by pie crust and dough in general. But I always used to buy dough because in America you can go to the corner. There's always a bakery, and of course they have all kinds of dough. They have their pizza dough. They have bread dough, which is usually the same. And uh, it saves you time, it saves you trouble, it saves you money. And sometimes it saves you a mess. Okay, so here we have my favorite frozen corn, peas, and carrots. I mean, this is hard to beat. It's hard to beat. So, we're going to throw these in here. Because, you know, these are frozen, and maybe they're slightly cooked when they freeze them, but if you don't cook them, then you know, they're, they're hard. Uh, and again, I'm going to tell you, the vegetables, you can put as many, you can put as few as you like. For me, um, I'm, I'm heavy on the meat here, but it's okay. I want a plump pie. I want a, I want a healthy pie. So that's what we do. We can add vegetables if you want, but it's supposed to be just a, a side taste and. That's what it is. It's an accessory to the main. And the main is the pie. So, we're close too. We're close. And what I'm going to do is add a little more of the broth. Because So now, one more thing we're going to do here, and what is that? We're going to get some flour and some cold water, and we're going to thicken this, so I shall return. Okay, so here I have a tablespoon and a half or two tablespoons of water and this is about two tablespoons of um, flour. So I'm going to add some broth, that was water, and now I add some broth and we'll stir this up and it needs to be smooth. It needs to be liquid because it needs to go through here and it needs to be no lumps. So I add more broth. I add more broth because I put too much flour and I want to do this only once because okay so we're gonna make sure that we're loose and we're gonna add the last of our broth
So I'm going to pour that right in. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour my flour water into the strainer. And as it goes in here, I'm going to stir. And it's good that it's thick because maybe you don't want it all, but you can see as you put it in. You can see that it's thickening already. And if you want more, you just pass by the lumps. See? It goes in. And this should be thick because you're going to put it in your pie. And you want to be able to cut your pie in pieces, so. Yeah, that's looking good. If you want more, you just sift this through. If you let these lumps go in there, well, then you're going to taste them. You're going to take a bite, and what you're going to taste is flour. And you really don't want to be tasting flour. So, okay. Here we go. I'm going to turn the heat off because this pan is going to keep it going a little bit. Now, this to me looks like a very good consistency. And I'm thinking that that's, uh, that's good to be. That's good to be. Now this is done, you know, I'm going to cut some of these meats in half maybe, and uh, we're going to go make the crust. So I'm going to get ready for that, and I'm going to bring you back because you have to see that, because you have to see how easy, you have to see how easy it is. So I'm going to take this. And I'm going to put it in the oven, not on heat though, I'm just going to put it in the oven to get it out of the way. Because it's done, it's ready to go in the pie as it, it, when it cools, but we still have to make the pie crust. So, um, this is Bill, and we're making chicken pot pie from scratch, and we'll be back to complete. Okay people, Bill again. Here we are, we're ready to do our pie crust. Now we're going to get started now. So, first thing we need is one, one, and one quarter cup all purpose flour. Then we need one quarter teaspoon salt. Then we need one third cup of margarine. This is margarine. So we're going to drop this right in there. Scrape it all in. And then what we do is we have our famous pie tool here, crust. So what we do is sift this around and we blend it. And it's gonna become like little little peas. Little pea sized pieces. Now, if you don't have one of these tools, and I don't imagine you will, um, you can use a fork. And 
I'll show you. Back. The fork you just kind of mash and pull. It's just going to blend into the flour the best you can. Just then if there's no big lumps in one area, so on, so on, so on. And usually the, the butter, is, the margarine is still very cold. And that's what makes it like the little peas you can see, the little ball size things. I hope you can see, <laughs> but you will see. Now, again, for easy, this is peasy. Because look, there's only one more ingredient that needs to go in here. And what do you guess that is? It's not even milk. Some people put milk and it just costs more. So, what do we use? That's right. We use God's ice water. And it's only four tablespoons. Think, look, look. Think. Four tablespoons of ice, ice cold water. That's what I use. Four tablespoons. And just mix this. And it's going to be like a dry ball. It's not going to be wet. It's not going to be like any other dough that you know. Okay? See? See how it's forming? And the more you push, the more it becomes a mass. And this is the time when I just kind of use God's tools. which is these. And we're just going to push this together like so. Now if ever, because like I'm always saying about the uh, the absorption rate of flour if you ever think you need a little dab more water, by all means, you do it. But, it's supposed to be on the dry side, so don't panic. If everything goes into a mass, like so, then you're good. Because, like I said, you don't want a wet crust. You don't want a soft crust. Because remember, this is this is butter, this is margarine, so it gets soft while it's uh, being handled, and then when you're done handling, it solidifies again, and when it solidifies, it becomes hard again. So. You see this. Now is that easy or what? Look. This dough is done. Now, I'm going to move my cutting board over here just to show you one little thing. This is the cutting board. This is our dough. And what we're going to do is... We're going to cut this dough into two pieces, two balls, one's the top, one's the bottom. Now see inside there? That's beautiful. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these and to further solidify them,
the easy thing to do is take a saran wrap. Well, I'm going to tell you the easy thing to do. The easy thing to do is have these bags on hand. See the bag? You take this bag, you put the dough inside there, you twist it, and you let the weight of itself keep the bag closed. Or you can use saran wrap. But they need to be wrapped so that the air stays out. And then we're going to put these back in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. I'm going there now. That's there. 30 minutes. Guess what? That's done. That dough is done. So 30 minutes from now, we're going to roll this dough out. And we're going to complete this pie. Now, if you don't think that was easy, then don't come back for the next segment because it don't get any easier to make your own pie. And what quality and what a boast. I made this pie and you're going to say that, you're going to think it as you eat it and as your family says, wow, ma, or dad, this is yummy. Well, that's worth more than gold. Most of the time. Well, anyway. So I'll be back. And we're going to finish this thing up. So again. Remember for a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. You only have to do it once. And we continue. We're going to continue either way. However. Um, I'd like you for you to subscribe to my channel. So that I know that you like what we do. Okay. So this is Bill. And having said all that. We're making chicken pot pie from scratch. And I'll be back. Okay, people, we're back. Now, I went ahead and rolled the first crust for the bottom. And I'm going to show you it's the very same thing for the top. So we're going to do that together. And we take it out of the bag. And no need for flour. We're just going to kind of mash that down. And this is my rolling pin. This is a piece of dowel from hardware. And I've had this for years. And it works great. So you're just going to roll this out and flip it. You start from the center, go that way, and come back that way. And you turn one quarter turn each time. You don't push too hard, but you push. And you'll see. It spreads as you go. So, you turn, you turn, and you pull. And you can flip as long as it's keeping a circle shape. All right? You can come down, you go up, then you turn it. You come down, you go up, and you see it's maintaining that circle. Now don't worry about the edges being ragged because this is going to go over the top of the pie, and then we're going to cut the excess along the sides. Okay. We're going to start with that. Okay, we'll start with that. I'll move this out of the way for a second. I'll bring the pie. And now we're going to fill it. Same, same. You start in the center. Just let it plop. Go to the edge. Go to the edge, to the edge, to the edge, and now, back to the center, put everything back to the center. 
show that. Okay, just like that. Now, this pie is gonna hug the fillings. So I put this aside. bring our pie crust back okay now very basically it looks like we're good so you peel this off the board slowly it will all come like this then you lay it over the top pulling it even so you got coverage all around trick if you see a spot that you think is bare, you can top that up, you can fill it in, okay? Now, what we do now is we make sure that we're all on the rim of the pan with dough. So that means what, the bottom is laying on the top, the top is laying on the bottom. Take a butter knife or a knife, and what you do is ride the edge of the pan, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Just kind of scraping the knife against the edge. Because this uh, flour is, this dough is delicate and it comes right off. Now, what you do, we'll move this out of the way for a second. Pick up your excess. That's your extra right there. Now, what we do is we pull this back and we get a fork and we just pinch. All around the edge. Pull slightly towards you. This is sealing the edges. And you like that? You like that. Then, what you're going to do is take a knife. I use this knife for butter. So you take this knife right here and you put a slice, a slice, a slice, and a slice in the dough. Yeah? Four slices. You ever buy a pie and see those four slices and say, oh, there's a flower in the center. But that's not a flower. What that is, is to let the steam escape from the pie so it doesn't get soggy inside. The steam as this cooks escapes through those slots. Now the last thing that we have to do so that we ensure that we have a brown crust is egg yolk. Egg yolk and a little water. You swish it around. And this is just you paint <laughs> you paint the pie. See? This is gonna give a nice golden brown golden brown look but remember this if you have allergies to eggs or poultry well you can do the same thing with butter um, that's it just like that 350 degrees Fahrenheit I think that's 170 or 175 degrees Celsius. 
say 40 minutes or until golden brown because remember everything is cooked except the dough now when the dough cooks it's going to be nice golden brown okay easy peasy chicken pot pie thumbs up subscribe see you in the next video and this is bill and we made chicken pot pie see you